How to undo a previous bank reconciliation in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Check out the website, it's qbuniversity.org. Okay, so in QuickBooks Online, um, it's not so easy to find how to undo a previous reconciliation. So you're going to want to undo a previous reconciliation if uh, for some reason, the beginning balance is off and you have figured out that some, maybe some additional transactions or maybe somebody reconciled the previous month, but they just put an adjustment in there and you need to go back and redo it. So you have to undo the previous reconciliation so that you can re-reconcile that account. Now, if this goes months back, you're going to have to undo reconciliations for each month going all the way back to where the error is and then re-reconcile every single month from there forward. Okay, so here we are. This is a sample file, QBU LLC. Okay, so we have uh, this company file and we want to undo the previous reconciliation because we found an error. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to the gear icon here and you're gonna go to reconcile. All right, so we see here we've got this account, Bluevine checking, beginning balance, last uh, reconciliation was 731, or statement ending date, 831, 2022. But you don't see an undo button. Okay, so what you wanna do, you go up here to history by account, and you're gonna see, and you can change the account here and the time period, and you're gonna see all these reconciliations. All right, so let's say we wanna undo this reconciliation here. Go over here to action and hit the drop down box and simply click undo. So it's going to alert you. Do you, you know, are you sure you want to undo this reconciliation? Uh, because it's going to basically take the reconciliation report, all that stuff out of there, the beginning balance, etc. It's going to act as if you had never reconciled the account for 831-2022. So you simply click yes. Uh, I'm not going to click yes on this uh, sample company file, um, but this is what it looks like. You simply click yes, and then it undoes the report, and then you go back and you re-reconcile. Simple as that. It's just a hard place to find where to undo the reconciliation. Very easy in QuickBooks Desktop, but very difficult in QuickBooks Online. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below, and I'll see you in the next video.